Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's aptly named Tip of the Week. Have you ever wondered how on drawing symbols people create variable and optional text? Uh, for example, let's uh, create a symbol on this. Let's go to a fillet weld we have. And boy, there are all these optional groups and all these different options we have for different variable text. I choose these options and I can enter whatever value I want for these things. And we'll just throw some other stuff in there. So when I actually place the symbol on the drawing, all those values I entered show up on the symbol. Well, let's show you how you would do that. Let's get rid of this out of our way. Let's change sheets here. I have some simple text here, or some simple uh, drawing entities I'm going to use to create a triangle note symbol. So we want to create some text on here that I can change every time I place the symbol. So let's create that text now. Throw a little note on here. And I'm going to center the text because I always want it to stay in the middle of the symbol. And we'll pop something about right there. Now here's how you make Creo Parametric recognize that the text you're entering is something you want to change every time you put the note in. Use the backslash character and you enter what you want to show up as the option when you place the symbol down. So let's do that. Now let's enter another piece of text that not only do we want to change what we type in when we place the symbol, let's make that uh, text optional so we don't see it all the time. So let's pop that in, maybe right following, trailing the little triangle symbol. And again, the backslash, and I'm going to call that optional text. Not very imaginative, but it works. And let's move that a tiny bit, line them up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Now let's go ahead and use these things to create a symbol. To create a symbol, I go to the Symbol Gallery pull-down from the custom symbol there, and I'm going to define a new symbol, and I'm going to call it Triangle Note. Now when I say OK, all of a sudden it takes me to a blank sheet. Well, what it's doing is taking me to a little palette I can use to create that note. I've got some things on the drawing that I already want to use to make that note, so I can just go over here and say Copy Drawing takes me back to the drawing I was in when I started this. I can pick all these things, say OK, it pastes them into the symbol creation palette. And just by nature of the fact that we have these backslashes around the text, it's already recognizing, hey, this is going to be something where I can change what I type in every time I use it. Let's change some other things as well. Let's make this optional text truly optional. How you do that is with groups. I'm going to create a new group. I'm just going to call it option. And it says, well, what do you want to put into that group called option? Well, I want to put this text right there. And I want to go in and change the attributes of this symbol. Let's uh, make it attached with a leader that points to the left direction. That's why I have this little straight line popping off the triangle. I'm also going to do something interesting, a little trick that you might not know about. You can make the height of the symbol variable and lock to some text in the symbol. So if I double the size of that text when I place it, it doubles the size of all the sketched entities as well. And I'm going to say done. I'm back in my drawing now. Let's go to the back to this sheet and let's place that symbol we just did. And there's my triangle note symbol. It remembers it in memory. We can also, if we want to use that in other drawings, we can write that off to a folder so it's available for everybody. Triangle note. There we go. So when I go to variable text now, there's that number. So I can enter whatever I want that to be. Let's put an 8 in there. And you're saying, well, where's that optional text? Well, that's in the grouping tab. Notice I created that group called option. When I check that box, it puts that text available for me right there. If I go to the variable text tab, there's my optional text. Let's say typical. Now when I go and place this note, 
there's the text that's entered. And that really is all you have to do to make variable text in a symbol. One last thing I'll show you as well. Remember I locked the size of that symbol to the text height. So if I change that text height, maybe make it a tenth of an inch, notice all the entities of the symbol shrink down with it. That makes any symbol you do very, very useful to use on different types of drawings with different default fonts. Now if you have any questions about this tip or any of the other tips, feel free to contact me or anyone else at EAC or go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section right below this video. Hope you enjoyed the tip and hope you have a great rest of your day.